I am walking back from my German class right now. It's super hot today, but I realized um, that I haven't done my day in the life yet with my German class. So today, I will make a video of a day in my life as an au pair in summer and with my German class because they are two very different things. <laughs> Yeah, so every morning I had to be downstairs by 7.30 and I would make the kids lunches and eat my breakfast. Oh, you want to be Kannst du mich fragen? Ich will nicht Okay. Honestly, the mornings were the roughest time for me as an au pair. Ella, the little girl, wouldn't want to go to Kita a lot and would have not the best attitude, but... I just wanted to include this clip to show you that it's not all the time fun and happy, if you know what I mean. I will say though, the good moments by far outweigh the bad moments. Um, I just wanted to share this to give you the full picture. Here's your toothbrush. Your toothbrush. Good morning. I am doing... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Um, we just got up and we're going to the Akita, but first we have to brush our teeth. I already made the lunches. Yes! Yeah, yes! Yeah. Yes! 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 So yeah, we're brushing our teeth and then we'll go to the Kita and then I will go to my German class and then come back. <laughs> we are headed to the Kita. Is it bright? We went to the Kita. We go to my Deutsch course, right? <laughs> Los kids. So I actually commuted every morning from Gudesheimer Platz to Warschauer Straße. Each morning it was about a 30 minute commute, so it was kind of long, so I made sure to bring something to do during the ride. I attended a Speakeasy in Warschauer Straße from 9 to 11.45 a.m. Monday to Thursday and I highly recommend the school. I love the teachers, love the other students. It was a great community. Made it to my German class. The class is three hours long and then I'll go back home. See ya. Got my coffee. Come Leo, see you After I got home at 12.30, I just tried to bust out my chores and get them over with. So I had to do Ella's laundry every week, as well as vacuum once a week, and then every day I had to empty the dishwasher.
Lunchtime was one of my favorite parts of the day because I got a little alone time at the house. Nobody was there. I could do a little homework, watch a little Netflix, or even take a nap sometimes. hot today so we're gonna go to the park I brought her a snack and probably get an ice cream On the way back from the park, she would fall asleep in the stroller um, and take a little nap. So in the meantime, I would make dinner so that when she woke up, we could eat. Yeah, and then that's about it. After dinner, we would just wait for the parents to get home. One of the things we loved to do was turn on some music and dance and sing. So at 7 p.m. I'm finished with the day of au pairing and I got to go for like bike rides or I would go on runs a lot. It's super nice because Berlin stayed light until about 10 p.m. in summer. So I normally went and did something outdoors. If you are wanting to become an au pair, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. I know it was a hard process getting going, but since I've done it I have a few tips so I hope you like this video if you would like to follow my daily life go visit my Instagram at Savtuma I'm in college now but I loved au pairing and love talking about it so if you're interested reach out to me let me know thank you for watching I hope you liked this video let me know if you did or if you want to see more bye